So in this question, we have Cowgirl Cheese Company. Now they just finished their financial statements for year two and the CFO prepared the waterfall chart that we can see. Now ultimately what we need to do is go through the options and see which statement about this waterfall chart is true, right? So we basically need to learn how to interpret and understand these waterfall charts. So if you think back to the lecture, right? As you can see in this visual, well, this is the example we talked about. And remember, when it comes to a waterfall, we are bridging two periods and we want to understand the activity that either increases or decreases throughout the period. So use this one as a guide, but I'm going to focus on the waterfall chart for Cowgirl Cheese Company. Starting with the first option, it says operating expenses decreased $15 from year one to year two. Well, when we look at that chart, right, it says negative 15, so it looks like it decreased. But when we look more closely at it, right, we're bridging net income from year one to net income of year two. And actually, this chart, because operating expenses have a negative impact when it comes to net income, this impact actually shows that operating expenses increased $15, right? That's why it's a negative impact when we're bridging net income. So that's gonna be a false statement. On the next one, cost of goods sold decreased $5 from year one to year two. Well, this is very similar to the one we just talked through, right? It says decreased, it's also showing negative five in the chart. However, this is the same explanation as the prior one, right? Because cost of goods sold decreases net income, right? It's an expense basically. Well if we're bridging net income, that means cost of goods sold actually increased $5 from year one to year two. So that's gonna be incorrect. So the next one says revenue for year two was $50. And when we look at our waterfall chart, well, it's green and it was up $50. And revenue, if it increases, has a positive impact on net income. So yes, revenue increased $50. Now, does that align with the statement? Well, it could only if we had zero dollars of revenue in year one. But the question tells us that revenue was not zero dollars in year one. So we know that that's going to be incorrect here, right? It would have to be something other than $50 in year two to have that $50 increase. On the next one, revenue increased $50 from year one to year two. Well, this is exactly what the waterfall shows us, right? We had a $50 increase, and because, again, revenue increases or has a positive impact in net income, that's why it's green and showing a positive 50. So revenue increased $50 from year one to year two is going to be the correct answer. So just to wrap this up, I want to share the comparative financial statements for year one and year two that were used to create this waterfall chart, right? So... Here's the financial statements. Go ahead and take a look, compare it to what's in the waterfall chart, and you'll see how the waterfall chart was created, right? It's important to understand this, interpret it, and understand why somebody would want to create a waterfall chart.